Welcome back, guys. As you can see, I've been quite busy. Um, yeah, we're putting in a complete nationwide intercity stagecoach network. Because this is something that I've been I've been wanting to do for for ages and ages and ages, and I think I've never really had the patience to do it before because it it takes a hell of a lot of doing. What we're going to do is link all of the cities together with stagecoach routes. Now, why the hell do I want to do this? Because I said I was going to do like uh, passenger trains this episode. Well, this is something that I've always thought, like I wish the game started a little bit earlier. So rather than starting with the trains in 1850, I wish it started like, I don't know, like 1825 or something. So that you could set up like coach networks and, um, and wagon freight networks and then replace them with the trains as the trains become available do you get you get it because i think that's really cool and I, I want these intercity bus routes to kind of develop over time as we go on like you know, like improving them with the newer vehicles and all the rest of it and also to see the impact of adding the trains as we start to as we start to add trains into this now i did i i oh man I spent um, what seven, yeah, seven hours um, working on various different ideas. Uh, I, I tested out, I tested out some of the bus stuff, not what I'm doing now. And I estimate that there's only about a fifty percent chance that this is even going to work. We may go bankrupt doing this. It's going to be really interesting to see. Um, but I did also try out ships. I put in, um, sh I put in a passenger boat network. Um, basically from, from down here, starting down here, going all the way up here to, to up here. Um, uh, but it didn't work. At least the way I was doing it didn't work. I've got like bus links linking down to the docks and stuff from, from all the, all the towns, but the way I was doing it didn't work. I've, I've got another idea that might work. Okay. Let's talk about this, um, this network, because this is different from anything that I've done before. I have done kind of big long lines linking together multiple cities. What I've done this time is create single point to point lines. So for example, we have got a line linking Laredo to Clarksville, right? And all I've done is in each city, put in one bus stop in the center of town, giving as much coverage as possible. And then there's another one over here in Clarksville. This will be the last bus to Clarksville. Just a single, just a single bus stop. All the lines connect to the single bus stop. I've also, by the way, um, done some a few name changes. I had one very irate viewer saying, um, "Quebec, Quebec is a province. It's not, it's not city." I know. I, I only put it in because of the because of the foundation guys. I don't, I don't know what city there are. I know they're in Quebec, but that was all I knew. Um, so I've changed it. I've changed it to we've got we've now got Montreal, Toronto, and Vancouver, and then Seattle over here because I thought like like we would we'll treat this bit up here as Canada, and then and then we got we got Seattle. Um, I am I am changed all of them, but I've changed a few. We've got Boston, New York, Washington over here. I thought we'd have a bit of the kind of northeast corridor over here. So if you guys want to suggest changes, like if like if you say oh you know what. Like Alexandria should be, I suppose. I don't know. What would be down there? I don't know. I've no idea. There's, the thing is, there's kind of there's no towns down here, so this could be like all the way down to Florida. This could be something in Florida. Like, but what would what would what would this what would this be? I've no idea. But if you got ideas, I mean, down here, I suppose. Like, I mean, we've already got um, we've got Laredo. Could have Austin or something like that. Maybe, maybe something over here. Like, like this is Concord, Massachusetts. So, th like, this should be on this side, right? But if you've got an idea, you might say, "Oh, you should make that one." I don't know, Las Vegas, or well, no, maybe that one should be Las Vegas, and this should be LA, or I don't know. Anyway, if you've got ideas like that, let me know. Let me say, so, 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 Westminster should be so and so. Anyway, moving on. Um, so, what we're going to do is put in some vehicles um, now. This is the thing. I want to thank Brendan for letting me know. I've actually put in these these for now, but I really don't like these because they're so modern. But Brendan let me know that there's a, there's a mod. Sparky's, Sparky's truck station mod or something, 
which, um, which gives you older versions of these, which I'm going to be using. Unfortunately, I'd already put these in when I read his email. So, so we're stuck with them for now because I can't afford to put in any more. Just to put this into perspective, how huge this is, right? We've got 19 lines. If I put 10 carriages or 10 stagecoaches on each one, on each line, it's 190. That would cost me 2.6 million, right? And we've only got, let's see, um, I've already used 5 million. So, yeah, this is basically going to blow our budget because the remainder is going to go on increasing this line. Now, uh, the oil line that we put in, in, in episode one. These trains, we are up to two trains with six wagons each. And they're running full at the moment. And how much oil have we got at the station? And the station, or the station's building up. So we could, um, we could certainly put an extra couple on there. So what, what we'll do is we'll start putting, uh, we'll start putting some coaches on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some on and show you like how I'm doing it, and then I'll, I'll do the rest like off camera. I'll, I'll cut some of this out. So it'll be a heavily edited episode, I think. So what I've done, I've put in a depot here, and I want this depot to, uh, to cover this area. Again, in an effort to save some money. So we want Laredo Clarksville, which is La Cla, La Cla. Um, not the oil well, you idiot. So we want to buy road vehicles. I'm going to put 10 on each line. The, the, my only question is, do I just put the 10 on? Or do I put on like, I don't know, two or four, maybe four, just to get the line started? Now, you know what? <laughs> It'll take too long. I'm just going to slap the 10 on, I think. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Need some more money. Uh, you know what? At this point, I think I'll just borrow the 10 million so that I know exactly. So we've got f exactly 5 million left. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Ten gives us um, a potential capacity of 40 passengers, which is not a whole hell of a lot. So we're this will be on uh, La Clara, won't it? Yeah. So here we go. So you lot, lot go on there. So they'll trot over there to Clarksville and then, then start running backwards and forwards on here. So then we want to do Columbus Clarksville. So let's do... Well, actually... Let's do let's do Fort Wayne Columbus next. Yeah, let's do Fort Wayne Columbus next, I think. So what do I want? Uh that, no, stop giving me the road vehicle. Give me the there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's probably eleven, but never mind. It's close enough. Set line all. This is gonna be I want uh yeah, Columbus Fort Wayne. So you're gonna go on that line. And I'm doing that just so that, because the first 10 are going to come out and go over there, and then the next 10 are going to come out and go over there, and they've got the furthest to go, so then I'll do Columbus, Clark, Clarksville. Clarksville. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we set those on Columbus, Clarksville. Columbus, no, uh, yeah, Columbus, Clarksville. Where's, where's Columbus, Clarksville? Oh, it's yeah, Clarksville, Columbus. There we go. Got it the wrong way around. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So let me go and set up all the rest. Okay. It's all done. All the vehicles are on. <laughs> yeah, and I've spent... Yeah, what? Uh, where's the where's the new vehicles? Car, uh, construction costs. New vehicles. Yeah, 2.55. Yeah, I told you, 2.6. Unbelievable. So that means we've only got 2.5 million left to spend... Ay, ay, ay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kick this off now. Go. So we've got two trains running on here. I've added um, a few extra trucks on this line. So we should have, um, I think, like six, yeah, six trucks on here now. I've just added an extra two. We had four. I've added an extra two. And these are waiting. These are waiting for a full load. Because there's no point of having them running back and forth. In fact, what's, what's the wait time on this line? Let's have a look. Vehicles, uh, yeah, they're waiting five minutes, which I don't know is quite long enough. Now I'm I'm very tempted to spend this money now and get these extra two trains on, but 
I'm really hoping that these guys are going to be are going to get into a profit situation sooner rather than later. But it's it is going to take a long time. Wagons are very slow. So it's going to take a long time for them to complete their journeys and actually realize their profits. And it's going to take like probably a couple of months before the lines are even recognized and we start getting passengers. So in the meantime, what I'm going to be doing is monitoring these trains. So we're coming in, we're coming in here. Now this carries um, 42 maximum. And we've got like 97 oil sitting here. So I think it is time to upgrade these trains, uh, let's say replacement. Yeah, I want to put an extra couple of wag uh, of uh, tank cars on here. So let's get rid of the caboose. Not replace now, and then add a couple of tank cars. But these are these are two hundred thousand each. <laughs> so this is like, well, in fact, they're almost a quarter of a million. So this is a million. No, it is half a million for two. I was thinking there were four. So yeah, add add and then stick the caboose on the end somebody asked the question what what's the point of having a caboose looks there is no other no, no other reason we are carrying around an extra 10 tons of weight for no reason whatsoever other than the looks but hey that's that's what it's all about right so and plus it gives me a bit more of a challenge so we'll do we'll replace those two trains replace now oh almost a million yes we are definitely going to go into the red there's no question about that go so that's going to increase you to like, what, 50, uh, 56, I think. Yeah, 56. Now, at some point, we're going to have to start. Oh, look, they're all full. They're all full of oil. And this is what I like about these wagons, that you can actually see what they're carrying. So they've actually got barrels on the back. Which I think is a, a really nice touch. So while, while things are ticking along, um, you can, and you can see, it's all, it's all going on. It's all going on. Now, what I'm going to have to do is go around and do things like this. So these are, these are the vehicles that are running on the, the, the Westminster to, to Downey line. Um, I was thinking that this is quite a long way around, and we should probably have a road that cuts through this way. I think that would be a really, really good thing. Um, so let's do let's do a little bit of messing around, and I'm probably going to be kind of looking around the map at different towns and seeing if there's if there's places where where things like this should be done. I am thinking of maybe extending this road a little bit, and then just hooking that up like that, and then have this road coming across here but no no that's okay that's okay I'm gonna extend that a little like that to there run that road through there if it'll go uh, that's not very nice Extend it a little bit and it'll look a little bit better. Not much, but a little bit better. I should have extended that one a little bit more. Come on, let's put that in. And, and like, does this matter now? No, it doesn't. You know what? It doesn't matter now. Don't do it now. I'll do it later. I'll, I'll, I'll smooth that out. So let's get a road linking down to there. Now, where, where do we want to link up to? I think we want to link it kind of sort of here. So I'm thinking a road that comes off here and kind of climbs up this slowly. I'm having I'm having so much fun with this, it's ridiculous. So let's climb off like this. And start going up the hill. As slow as we can. Gotta th remember these are poor horses that got to go up this blooming hill. It's not nice for them. Ooh, that's a bit steep. That's a bit steep. There we go. Yeah, that's okay. Man, this is um, it's a little bit more expensive than I thought it was going to be. But hey, it is what it is. And we want to link up to this road here. 
this. Uh, this is this is pretty flat over here, so yeah, that's fine. Oh, got to get up this hill. So maybe there and here. now, like. Why did, why did I want to do this? Like, why did I just do the Bloomer passenger trains? This is all American steam. It's not all American horses. Well, the thing is, like, when I'm playing games, and especially when I'm playing games for you guys, I want to, I want to do things that are different. I don't want to do, I don't want to just, like, do the same as I've done in every other series before. What's the point of doing that? I want to do something different. I want to entertain you. Show you some, like, different ways of doing things. That's a bit steep. Good Lord. I'm not sure we can avoid that, though. I don't think we can avoid that. And then hook up to that. There we go. So now, yes. So now the line changes. So they go in there. And then around there. Cool. All right. So this, if this works, this will be awesome. But whether it will, seriously, I think it's 50-50 as to whether this is going to work. Um, so I'm going to be looking for places like that where I can maybe optimize the roads a little bit. Uh, but primarily what I was actually going to say was I'm going to be flipping them around. So for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Those are the 10 wagons on this route, right? So what we actually want is some of them flipped around so that they're going in the other direction. So rather than just like all 10 going in a big lump, we start splitting them up. So let's, uh, let's flip you around so that you're going backwards. And um, we could do the same with that one. And then I'm going to let them go a bit further. And we'll start flipping these around. So, yeah, I'm going to have quite a lot to do. Because I've got to do this on all of the lines. Spread all of these guys out. Uh, that one there. So I've got one, two, three. Let's do four. And this guy here. Give it a little bit longer. Let's let them get up here. But putting in that row was a good idea because that's a, that is quite a long way around. That'll save them a lot of time, which will make the line more profitable, which is a good thing. All right, it's, uh, oh no, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Which one was it? It's this one, wasn't it? Well, you'll do anyway. Uh, right, let's do that one. There, it's that one. There we go, flip you around. All right, cool. So I'm gonna be doing that. <clears throat> the other thing we need to worry about is um, is the, the oil demand. Why, why am I pausing it? Oh, look, we've got passengers. Locust Street. We've got 15 passengers want to go to down uh, to Fort Wayne. We've got seven passengers want to go to Sioux Falls. Nobody wants to go to Westminster, but hey, <laughs> I mean, who would? Who would want to go to Westminster? Uh, I only do that as a joke because somebody left a comment and said, I live in Westminster. I can't believe it's on the map. So there you go. Uh, by the way, Downey Jr. isn't changing. Downey Jr. is staying because I like the name. I think it's funny. But we are, we are seeing passengers like all over the place. My God, is this actually going to work? It's possible. Um, let's uh, let's flip you around. And uh, I did that one, didn't I? So you know what? Let's flip you around. That's two. Uh, flip you around. Three. And flip you around. Four. There we go. So starting to split them up. I'll let this come a little bit further and I'll flip you around as well. I, I, I really hope this idea works because I love the idea of it. It's just, I don't know whether it's practical. Flip you around, there you go. Do you have a look? Just, just a very, very quick look. Because we've got the, we've got the, all the lines showing which kind of spoils it, but. Oh, beautiful views. You enjoying your job, mate? He might be enjoying his bloody job, but we aren't. Tracking across the bloody prairie. What do you think we are? 
Do you, re do you realise how difficult it is to find drugs out here on the prairie? <laughs> oh, dear. I love the posh horses. All right, let's... Um, well, you know what? At this point, it's just a case of me going around, doing this flipping around to space out the, all of these things. Uh, I need to turn off some of these icons as well, by the way. Um, turn those off. I need the vehicle icons on. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'll go around, I'll do some flipping around, and I'll keep an eye on the on the trains as best I can. Let's have a quick look at the line profitability and see where we're at. So the good news is that Honkelbriff Oil is making us 49,000 at the moment. And it's going to go up a tiny bit. I say a tiny bit. I would expect this to be making us like somewhere between two to three hundred thousand. But look at all of these lines. They're all losing around ten thousand each. So that's like a hundred and yeah, hundred and ninety thousand. And there's one I missed. I missed uh, Westminster. What is that's Westminster to oh Westminster Concord. I missed Westminster Concord. That's Fort Wayne, Westminster, Concord. I missed this one. Oh, Lordy. Turn my depots back on so I can see my depots. I did do Westminster. You know what? I'm going to put an extra depot in then to get them going a bit faster. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nightmare. Do, 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 do. The music does get in your head in this game. Um, 19,000. Is it cheaper over here? 15. Ah, 12. That'll do. Perfect. Buy ride vehicles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stick them on Westminster Concord. Boom, done. All right, cool. But look at look at the passengers. We can turn this on, see them all trot out. And they're actually they're actually splitting up, which is a good thing. You know what, I'm going gonna, gonna to flip you around and pick one of you lot. You'll do. Flip you around. <laughs> okay, so, so I've got I've got lots and lots of that nonsense to do. Uh, yeah, but we are getting passengers, amazingly. And I tell you what, 17 of 40. Um, the thing is, for these to be, like, even remotely profitable, these need to be running full. But look at this, 23 of 40 already. Good Lord, this might actually, this might work. And I do say might. But what I want is for when they're full to start adding extra wagons to, to build these lines up. This is running almost maxed out. We're up to 127K. So let's see, we're losing like, well, we're, we're, I was going to say we're losing 190K, but these are losing like 15K a piece now. Um, so yeah, 192. So we're losing about 300,000 at, at the moment. So we need this to kind of make that to just to balance this out until these become profitable. All right. Uh, let me run it on a little bit. Let me do some flipping around and stuff and, uh, and we'll kind of see how it develops. Okay, guys, we've moved on a little bit. How are we doing? Well, the question is, the, the, the answer is, we're kind of sort of getting there. So I did put 11 on that line. Um, but look, some of our lines are actually starting to max out. Now I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put some extra carriages onto there, some extra stage coaches. But for right now, <clears throat> I was looking at, um, I was looking at Downey's oil situation, or fuel situation, I should say. We're at 184 of 248, we're at 74%. So I'm actually thinking it might be a good idea to get at least one more town on there. So, pause for a second. We're gonna put in a second depot uh, and get uh, and get some fuel being shipped up to, I think, Sioux Falls. I mean, I could do, I could do Fort Wayne. Uh, Fort Wayne is 264 demand. Sioux Falls is, come here. 230. I mean, it doesn't make too much difference. 
I've got a, I've got more reasons to talk about of why I've done this. And, and it, it, doing this, if I can make it work, it does make actually quite a lot of sense, um, as you'll see. Shall I, uh, shall I do? Yeah, go on. Which one am I going to do? It, it, it doesn't really make too much difference, does it? 260 against, what was it, 230? Yeah, I think I'm going to do Sioux Falls, cause it's, just because it's basically a bit easier. So let's do, what do I want? What do I want? I want a truck stop, don't I? Yeah, I do. So here we go, cargo. Flip you around. I'd like it to be as cheap as possible, really. 14, 13.9, 13.9, 13.7. 13.7, I think was the cheapest. 13.5, that'll do. You're in. Cool. So let's put in, now where am I going to drop this off? And I think probably I'm just going to use, I might use this, but I might put a separate one. Uh, no, apparently I'm going to put a separate one in because that doesn't cover all of the industry up here. So we'll put a separate, separate stop in. What do I want? I want one of my, one of my, tr one of my truck stops. Here we go. That'll do. Now if we put you in, say there, that would do, wouldn't it? Yeah, in you go. So we'll set up a new line. This has got kind of a Western feel to it, this music. I like this bit of music. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, create a new line. This is going to be, um, what is this? This is Sioux Falls, so this will be Sioux Falls. I mean, I should be putting RFs in front of these. I'll start doing it. This would be, I'll just use SIO as the, as the abbreviation. This would be Sioux Falls Fuel. Cool, and it's going to be from there to there. Hooray, there was much rejoicing. Okay, having done that, we need to put some wagons on there. So let's buy some wagons. Carriages, um, I'm not, I'm going to have to put like potentially quite a lot on. For now, I'm just going to put like maybe like half a dozen or something. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's throw those on, set line all. RF Sioux Falls. I am going to change that to a red line as well when I think about it. Because it's red is for fuel. I've decided. Well, bright red. Dark red is the intercity ballistic buses. And um, what else did I want it to do? I wanted to do something else I wanted to do with that line. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, hmm. The question now is, do I actually tell them to wait for a full load or not? It, um, oh, I can. I can because I separated. I was thinking if it was the same one, I couldn't do it because I was thinking about this earlier. Let's do, let's do that. There we go. Danny Jr. Holt. All right, go. So these guys can come out. Um, oh, how long do I want you to wait? That was the other thing. Vehicles, I want you to wait like five minutes. I might even say 10 minutes. You know what? I'm going to say 10 minutes because it, it's a long old haul to go up there empty and back. I could, like, I could even say unlimited. Like, why, why, why wouldn't I say unlimited? There's, there's kind of no reason, is there? So, no, um, unlimited. You wait there until you actually get something to haul. They're not causing a traffic jam or anything, because they can all fit in here, so. So we'll do that. Cool. I should probably do the same with these ones. Should I do the same with these ones? Uh, yeah, that, that it... They're only carrying one type of goods, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so vehicles, yeah, like unlimited. Just wait until you, wait until you're full. All right, cool. How are we doing here? Oh, we're up to 155. Oh, that's pumping out some oil now. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're up to 800 now. We've doubled the production. So we need, we really need the extra trains, but I can't afford them. So now it's all a case of, can we actually start turning a profit on these lines to make some cash so that we can actually buy some trains? Now, we are we are starting to get close to actually turning a profit on some of these lines. And we're getting more lines that are maxing out. So, okay, I think... Uh, the... The problem. So this is um, this is Clarksville, Columbus, is maxed out. Clarksville, Columbus. Let's put a few more vehicles on here. By road vehicles. I'm going to do it like five at a time. 
So one, two, three, four, five, and set you online, clocks for Columbus, go. All right. So now we've got a pack capacity of 60. Woo! Uh, this is Columbus Fort Wayne, which is this line. That's the same, same depot. So let's buy another one, two, three, four, five, and put you on Columbus Fort Wayne. Go. Oh, we've got lines starting to turn a profit. In fact, the two that I've just put the extra wagons on. Sweet, 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 sweet. This is, oh, Toronto, Montreal. Oh, the Canadians. That's a lot of traffic, eh? <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, Toronto, Montreal. All right, cool. Let's put, put some more on there. By road vehicles, horse carriage. One, two, three, four, five. Put you online, Toronto, Montreal. Boom. Uh, we've got Westminster Thornton is maxed out. So we'll do it. West, Westminster Thornton. Westminster Thornton. That's Washington's down here. West, there's Thornton. Oh, Thornton, Westminster. Here we go. So let's buy road vehicles. Uh, horse carriage. One, two, three, four, five. Set you online. Westminster. Thornton. Cool. Ho, ho. Syracuse, Seattle. Maxed out. Syracuse, Seattle, this one. So let's do this. Buy road vehicles. One, two, three, four, five. Set line or Syracuse, Seattle. Okay, let's, you know what? Let's, let's talk about a little bit more about like why I'm doing this and the benefits and, because like, first of all, why didn't I just do, why didn't I just do like a few? Like, why am I trying to do all of them? Like, why not just do a few? Well, the reason is, I think that the more towns that are connected, the more chance you've got of people wanting to travel to different towns. So it creates more traffic for the network overall, which um, should hopefully help it to be profitable. And I've got to say, that seems to be working out. I mean, look at Syracuse over here. Loads of people waiting, which is awesome source. Loads of people waiting over here in Washington. I, Washington, I suppose, like, I mean, in the hubs, because Washington's a bit of a hub, it's got four lines. And yeah, we're getting people. And they'll be and they'll be making transfers. So, you know, you might get people in Boston that want to go to Billings. So they'll go to New York City, Washington, and then here. And it's creating lots of traffic. So that was why I wanted to do that. Um, the other reason that I wanted to do this is because hooking up passenger links between towns helps towns to grow. Now, let's have a look at the town sizes. Okay, I can tell you for a fact that we're already seeing significant growth. Um, I think the biggest town, when we started, the biggest town, I think was Clarksville, but it was only around 250. So that has already grown significantly. Where's Clarks, uh, Clarksville? Clarksville's down here. Uh, I mean, you can see the, the networks of roads is extending quite a lot. So I actually think that we're going to see a lot of growth quick. You know what? Let's go and have a look at Downey because we were at, um, how much, what was the fuel demand? It was like two, 212. Let's see if that's changed, whether it's gone up. Oh, 216. Was it 216 before? I think it was 212, but it could have been. 216 not sure so we're not seeing significant growth yet uh, at least in the industry oh no no what the hell am i talking about it's 264 oh no it has grown and it has grown significantly awesome that's really good news oh and look at that we have got oil sitting there to be shipped off to sioux falls now you know what um let's see We've got 62 sitting there. We need more wagons, guys. So let's get carriage. One, two, three, four, five. Set line all. Sioux Falls. Okay. Should we look at the should we look at the profits? Should we, let's have a look at the profits. Please be good. Oh, we are starting to turn some profits. 
We've got one, two, three, four, five in the green now. And like this one's making 7K. Now you imagine if we, let's say we can get them all making like 10K. That would, that means we'd be making like 200,000. Which, um, which would be absolutely fine. Oh, let's see. Honkelbrief Oil is making 450,000. Okay, that's more than I expected. So does that mean we might, we might be making a profit, guys? Um, not quite, not quite. Running costs are a million. We're bringing in 1.35. Spent, uh, oh, we, uh, we had half a million in new vehicles. So yes, we're making a profit other than spending on new vehicles. Oh, good Lord. Oh my word. <laughs> I'm turning into a Wimbledon commentator. Oh my word. Um, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm loving this and it's only 1852. This is the thing about the four times slower mod. Like if, if, if we weren't using the four times slower mod, it would be like, um, well, we're just about to go into 1853. So it'd be like 1862 or something. The time would be flying by. So we're at, we're at 1852 and we have got a nationwide stage, stagecoach network. I am going to get rid of all of these now because I think you, I think you're familiar with the fact that we've got routes all over the place. Boom. Actually, you know what? I, was, I meant to look at this route up here from Montreal to Toronto. Yeah, the Montreal to Toronto route is okay. That route's okay. Yeah, I think most of the routes are, are pretty okay. I think it was just it was just the Westminster one that really needed a, an extra road in. Now, there are other links that we could put in. For example, we could put a road from, uh, from Sioux Falls going to uh, Alexandria. Now, we could go around the map here but I don't want to do that because we're going too close to the edge of the map and that looks horrible right but we could do a road that goes through the mountains would we like that would we like a road that go, kind of goes through the mountains maybe through here the, the, the problem is again well mind you when you're down here you're probably not going to see it you're not going to see the edge of the map so kind of wind a road through the mountain and we could do it like realistic. We can have a road that kind of like like really winds up the steep bits and stuff. Let me know if you want to see that. I think that might be might be cool. Well, I, I, let, once we're making some money, let's put it that way, because it's going to be a very potentially expensive business, and it's not going to be a profitable line if I've got like the roads going zigzag all the way up and down the mountains. Our wagons look to be spacing themselves out slowly. I, I flipped kind of as much as I could, but there's a limit because like they're carrying passengers now and I don't want to flip them around when they, oh, you're not. Um, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip you, I'm gonna flip you around. Yeah, flip you around. Now we're not seeing a lot of traffic from Alex at five people waiting. Need more people. Okay, we're well, gonna have one little last look. Oh my God, we're we're turning green. Got a look at this. 60 of 60, 64 of 64. This is making 11K now, 12K. Five, three, let's make it 3K. This is making 5K, 6K, 12K, 4K. Oh my God, is this gonna work? I think it might. I think it might just work. So let's see how are we doing with um, with the downy oil. So I'll go and have a look because I think as, as soon as I can afford it, I need to get more trains on here. This is actually full now. Yep, I need more. I need more trains. Uh, downy is at seventy four percent. How are you doing now, Sioux Falls? You're at. I'm gonna let, let it run. You're at uh, zero percent at the moment. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Is that our first delivery? I wonder if that's our first delivery. Let's have a look. So you're dropping, you're definitely, you've definitely just dropped off fuel, but that hasn't updated. Okay, whatever. Maybe it takes a while. Maybe it does at the month end. I've no idea. Oh, there you go. In fact, there you go. There's the proof. And we've just gone through into the new year. Debt. How oh, no it, goes, no, it goes to the new year in um, in January, doesn't it? Okay, so, oh my God, we actually made a profit. Well, I mean, if you ignore the new vehicles, then we actually made a profit of like 100,000 last year. Okay, impressive. Well, all that's left to do now, guys, is just let it run, really. Um, I haven't got enough money to upgrade the trains at this point. But my God, we are we're virtually all in the green now. There's a couple of, couple of, but even these, these should be going into the green pretty soon. 9K, 6K. Oh, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that this is going to work. But I just, yeah, this is going up. That was 500, it's now 600K. If we can get enough money to buy an extra train, what, how much do we need? I think we need like about 800,000 or something to buy a train. Um, no, it's more than that. What the hell? 800,000. It's a hell of a lot more than that. We need we need a Baldwin. And then we need um, eight tank cars. Well, that's like 2 million. Yeah, yeah, it is. Good Lord. One, two, three. Yeah, I can't afford, can't afford to do it. Um, let's actually get rid of those. So, well, like eight... Yeah, it's not like one point. So yeah, it, 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 we need virtually two million. So it's just a case of let it run, guys. So I tell you what, why don't I just let it run for a bit? Let's turn, let's turn all these icons off for now. Why don't I just let it run for a while? And then we'll come back and we'll see. Can we make this work? Well, look at this, guys. This is, this is headed in the right direction. I'm actually going to pause at this moment. With the, uh, with the trains just approaching the midpoint because I'm gonna add a third train. Now I've only got like a million, right? But look at this. Some of these lines are actually turning like decent profits, like 12K, 13K, 11K, 8K, 12K, 10K, 16K, nine. There's only two that aren't profitable right this minute. This one's losing 2K, this one's losing five, but the, this one's full, so it will turn a profit. It's just, it's just a case, some of these lines are very long, it's just a case of waiting for the wagons to get there to realize the profit. But yeah, oh man, I am so glad that I did this. This is really cool, and I tell you what, this is gonna have a massive benefit when it comes to putting in our passenger trains, because the towns will already have grown. Look at, look at Downey Jr. Look, we're up to almost 300 demand on the fuel. 200, so let's have a look at the populations again quickly. Uh, so the populations, look at this, Clarksville 345. Everything's growing. Awesome. So yeah, I thought to try and get the, the cash coming in as quickly as possible. If we, um, let's see, so if I buy a train, so I want, I want a Baldwin, and then as many tank cars as I can get. One, two, three, three is all I can get. But you know what, that will still be profitable. So I stick a caboose on? Yeah, of course I'll stick a caboose on. It doesn't cost anything, but it is added weight. It's the only problem. 158. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. So put you on Honker Briffle Oil. Go. Let's see you come out and get loaded up. Look at this. 366. This must be this must be virtually full. It's only 21, but you know what? It all helps. And as long as it's full both ways, which it will be because we've got fuel fuel waiting to be moved up here. And then as we get more as we get more cash, I can add more tank cars onto it. And then hopefully we can add the fourth train. 
So let's have a look. Oh, there's only one, there's only one line that's not profitable. Can you believe it? Seriously, at the, like when I put this in at the beginning, did you think, oh, half of these aren't going to be profitable? I must admit, I was kind of thinking that. Some of them aren't making much. I mean, this is only making like 800 bucks at the moment. But some of them are making decent profits. Let's let's have a look at the uh, the overall profitability. So we're, we're down, of course, this 750, but that's because we've just spent 922 on uh, on new vehicles. Did I sell any? No, I haven't sold any. So yeah, we're actually up like 200,000 at the moment. We made 177k last year, but with this extra train, we'll make a little bit more. And our buses, our, yeah, our buses, our coaches, our stage coaches, are making a little bit more. So yeah, it'd be nice. I don't know. I don't know how much we're going to make this year. But if we can get, oh look, I, you know what? I can I can actually afford to add an extra tank car to that train. Where are you? Oh, you're just about. Oh no, you're just pulling out, aren't you? Yeah, you're just pulling out. If it was just pulling in, I would have added the extra tank car. Quarter of a million. Now it'll drop on the first of the month. Oh, this was a this was a great idea. This was a great idea. Let's see. We're making four hundred k, which is probably going to go up when this uh, when this pulls in. 1st of December, it dropped down again. And now, yeah, four, yeah it's, we seem to be pretty steady at 400k. But now we've got that extra train when that gets up here. So we've got 340. By the time that train gets here, oh, it's a shame we can't get up to like 400. Mind you, look at it ticking up. Now, that what I do need to do... If, if it gets over 500, which it won't, I, I need to start paying off the loan at year end. But it's fine. Now, you know what? I'm going to pause it there because we're going to get charged like 200, 225k interest uh, at the on the first of the year. Yeah, 255. So it makes sense. Oh, you know what? I can't upgrade that train on its own. Um, oh man, I was just thinking I was going to upgrade it, but I can't upgrade it. Damn it. Okay, well, that's annoying. I'd have to, I'd have to send it into there and sell it and buy a new one to upgrade a train individually. Oh well, never mind. The point is, we got through the new year with cash in hand. So my guess is that by the end of, uh, by the end of this year. I don't spend any money. We should have enough cash to actually buy. So let's see, what did we? So we made, man, we made almost four hundred thousand. That's peachy, and I'm guessing that we should make a little bit more than that this year. If I can actually get a couple more trains, well, one more train, and actually get them up to full spec then we should be able to start making some progress. So guys. I guess we're going to leave it here for this episode. I'll probably run it on uh, a little bit so that we can start the next episode with some money, able to actually do something, because at the moment, we, we can't really do anything because we haven't got any cash in hand. So, now, is this is this the most profitable way to start? No, of course it's not. The, the most profitable way to, would have been to just, just focus on the oil line, get the, get the four trains running and whatever. But I am so glad I did this. I think this is a really nice idea. I'm just looking at this and thinking, do I need uh, more vehicles on here? I've got like seven, I think. I've got like seven vehicles on here. We've got, I added a few on here. We've got quite a few on here now. But there's a, there's a fair amount of fuel being shipped. So a last look at the, oh my God, they're all profitable. All righty. All our lines are profitable and they're bringing in some respectable amounts. Let's see, let's see. Uh, we're only at March. 
we've already recovered the 255 that we got charged on January 1st and we're starting to make some profits. Oh, awesome source. You know what? I think what I might do is wait um, wait till I get a bit of cash and then rather than upgrade that little train, I should add the fourth train. Probably like if I can get it like the same size as this, that would be fine. All right, guys. Yeah, we'll leave it there. Um, oh, I can't wait to see your comments on this whole idea. Do you think it's crazy? Do you think it was a great idea? Do you think I'm a lunatic? Well, no, of course you think I'm a lunatic. That's, that's, that's just stating the obvious. Guys, I'll catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.